Please consider subscribing or joining as a member. Thanks and enjoy the video. Hello, so today we're gonna talk about something game changing. If you don't wanna ruin the game for yourself, like the immersion and stuff, I recommend turning this video off. Because after watching this video, there is no way back. You will know how to spot enemies and how to know where enemies are at all times. It's kinda like a legal ball hack in the game, but there is no way to remove it because of performance reasons. I can guarantee you that every good player in this game knows about this and you might know as well, but if you don't know, well, this video is for you. So what are we gonna talk about? Well, I'm gonna show you in-game with all the examples. Okay, so we are in a match and I have to say it's about rendering stuff in distance. By the way, you should put object light on medium. If you have it on low, well, then you aren't gonna see hunters at longer distance. If you have it on high, well, that's good, but high for me causes stuttering, so medium is the best option that you can choose. So what is it all about? Well, each player has a circle around them between like 100 to 150 meters radius and in that radius, AI spawns in, windows render, doors render and the objects that you can interact with render in. So if I look at more battery, I see a door here. I see a window here that can be interacted. So this means that someone in that compound is close enough to blow those windows. If there were no windows, that means that no one is there. For example, like here. As you can see, those windows also render when someone is close in the compound. There is no windows, so no one is close. Around like 150 from this radius. In Seedball, same. In Seedball, there is no window, so no one probably rendered it. And this rendering with the windows and doors, it stays there for a while. Even after the player leaves the area, but after a few minutes, it will de-render again. So, it's not 100% accurate, but you can tell that some oh, someone just rendered this. So someone is probably close, coming from this side. Yeah, someone rendered Seedball as well. And as you can see, because of that information, I found a team. And this is why I said it's gonna ruin the hunt immersion, where you don't know where people are, you don't know anything. This kinda reveals everyone on the map, so yeah, it's very cheesy, but every good player knows about this. Okay, last game I showed you how it works, when you are like somewhere high, how you can check around you, but you can use this when you spawn as well. There are some spawns that you can check from your spawn to other spawn if people spawn there without actually seeing them, based only on the rendering of the windows and doors. You know, no door, no people there, but that's too far from the spawn. So here you cannot really check anything, you need to go in front and you can check from here to Davant Trench if someone spawned Davant Trench. Also you don't need to take scope, I take scope only for the better visibility, but you can see it with iron sight, you can see it with spyglass, with anything. It doesn't matter if you scope or not. So let's check if someone spawned at Davant Trench, I check those windows. Well, those windows are not rendering in, so no one is the one trench, or no one is close enough in 150 meters radius. So I know that no one is the one, I can be safe, I can go left side. So for example, I went from Cypress to here and I can check Blanchet. Well, there is no doors here that always spawn there, so I know there is no one Blanchet. Let me check Log Bay, there is no doors here, there is no window here, so I know no one is Log Bay. And just to add to the spawning points, it makes the biggest difference on spawns in my opinion. Because, for example, Davant Trench, eh? if you spawn here, you go here, and you can instantly spot people and it's 100% accurate if there is other team. So, once you spawn here, you go in, vault, 
Check these windows. If those windows are not rendering, it means no one is there. And of course, it works from both sides. So usually when I spawn here, what I do, I should go here. On the right side, I wall this. And when I wall this, I check the building in the back. And if the building, if this one building has doors here, it means there is people spawned close. If there is no door, there is no people. Now there is doors because I was there before, so they render because of me. Then, you know, after you call out there is no one, well, your teammate can go pick up the clue and you can go wait here. Check those windows if they are not rendered. If they are not rendered, there is no people. If they are rendered, well, there is people close. It's insane how much information you can get by just looking at other compounds. This works from multiple, multiple spawns, probably most of the spawns in the game. And all the time, at all times, when I move around the map, I check all the windows in all compounds. No matter what distance, I always check for those rendering windows. Well, I hope you understand how it works, and if you have any questions or if you want to see something, make a comment and I'll try to respond to it. Okay, and now you can enjoy the rest of the video, which is the gameplay, and I have to say, it's very good games. I surprised myself, I just kept wallbanging one team and then I killed them in like 2 seconds, well, you'll see, you'll see. Enjoy the video.
They don't have long ammo, so I can just keep my range and I'm good, I think. Damn, I'm surprised they're picking me like this with the windfields. Oh, like respect, I guess, respect. Yeah, I think they're gonna push me now. Okay, gamer position, and let's go. Thank you. 